Welcome to accounting. This is going to be a short overview of financial accounting, managerial accounting, and a slight mention of tax accounting. And we're going to focus primarily on financial accounting because that's the thing that we do first. So big, big picture, accounting is about identifying economic transactions that need to be recorded, recording them properly, preparing our reports, and we'll talk about the four most important ones here shortly, and then helping people analyze and interpret those. So there's three basic kinds of accounting. Financial accounting, I say that answers the question, how did you do? We tell people outside the company how we did last month, last quarter, last year. Managerial accounting is about how are we doing? We help management make good decisions about running the business in real time. And then tax accounting, which we won't talk about at all, is what is our fair share of taxes? So we're gonna begin with financial accounting. We're gonna answer the question, how did you do? Outsiders want to know if we're earning a satisfactory amount of net income, how we compare with other companies in our business, and are we going to be able to pay our debts as they come due? And we answer that question with four different financial statements. The first financial statement is the income statement. It covers a period of time and it tells people whether we made money or we lost money. And we start out with the single step income statement, which is revenue minus expenses. So this made up company tells us for the year and December 31st, 17, their revenue or sales were $1 million. Their expenses incurred to generate those sales were $600,000. So a million minus $600,000 gives us net income of $400,000. That's all there is to the income statement. It covers a period of time and it's revenue or sales minus expenses. The second financial statement is called the statement of owner's equity. As we make money, our equity in our business should go up. As we take money out, our equity should go down. So we prepare a statement of owner's equity whenever we prepare our financial statements. So this made up company said, here's our owner's capital at the beginning, plus our net income, minus our drawings, that's the money we took out, gives us our owner's capital at the end of the year. It's probably a good idea to memorize this. Owner's capital at the beginning plus net income minus owner's drawings gives us owner's capital at the end. It comes up over and over again, and it's probably a good idea to just memorize it now. The next financial statement is the balance sheet. It's a snapshot at a moment of time, and it's an embodiment of what we call the accounting equation. The accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. If I buy a house, for $500,000, that's my asset. If I put a loan on it for $400,000, my equity is $100,000. Same thing with a company. If you look at their balance sheet and they have $500,000 of assets, $400,000 of liabilities, then that $100,000 that's left, that's the owner's equity. Okay, here's a typical balance sheet. It's a snapshot as a moment of time. As of December 31st, 2017, this company owned cash, accounts receivable, temporary investments, inventory, prepaid expenses, supplies, product plant equipment, and intangibles. Those are assets. Assets are things that we own. Accounts receivable is the good one. That means we've done the work. We've sent out a bill. We're just waiting to get paid. Temporary investments. That means we had extra cash laying around and we invested in stocks and bonds of other companies. Inventory is stuff that we bought that we intend to sell to somebody else. So if we bought it for $5, we're going to sell it for more than 5 bucks. Prepaid expenses means we paid our rent or insurance a year or two in advance, and so that's an asset we're going to use up over time. Supplies refers to the stuff that's in the supply closet that's going to last us for a long time also. So all these things that are cash or will be cash within a year, they're called current assets. Things like land, building, and equipment, those are going to last longer than a year. They're called non-current assets. And then we also have intangibles. Everyone knows what those are. Those are things like copyrights and trademarks. They don't have physical substance, but they're certainly an asset for us. On the right-hand side of the balance sheet are two kinds of accounts. Don't forget that, two kinds of accounts. There are liabilities, things that we owe. And any word, any account that has the word payable or accrued or unearned in it is a liability account. And anything that's due within the next year is called a current liability. So at some point, we're going to make a comparison between our current assets and our current liabilities when we do our analysis. And then stuff that's due beyond the next year are called long-term liabilities. And the difference between what we own and what we owe is our equity in the business. And you've already memorized owner's capital at the beginning plus net income minus owner's drawings gives us owner's capital at the end. So in the beginning, we just talk about one owner 
And so that owner's equity section just features the one account called owner's capital. So those first three financial statements, the income statement, statement of owner's equity, and the balance sheet are gonna come from the accounting cycle, which we're gonna learn a lot about in the next few weeks. Statement of cash flows comes from a different place. We're gonna have to compare the balance sheet at the beginning of the year with the balance sheet at the end of the year to explain to the world what happened to our cash. So we're gonna tell the world, we got this much cash from operating activities, we got this much or invested this much cash from investing activities, we received or used up cash in finance activities, and when we combine the cash in or out from operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities, we'll get our total change in cash. We combine that total change in cash with our cash at the beginning, and we'll get our cash at the end of the year. The second general area of accounting is managerial accounting. accounting. We're going to talk about that a lot later. It answers the question, how are we doing? So we're going to answer questions for our internal users, like how much should we charge for our product? Which products are making the most money for us? Things like that. And those are really important questions that we need to answer to help management. But we can't answer those questions until we understand financial accounting. So we'll start with financial accounting, then much later we'll get into managerial accounting. Tax accounting, which we'll never talk about, is answering the question, what is our fair share of taxes? How can we legalize, legally minimize our tax bill? And how can we legally postpone our tax bill? We'd love to pay our fair share of taxes, but we'd much rather pay that next year rather than this year. So that's the big picture. We're going to start with financial accounting. We're going to learn about the four financial statements. We're going to start with the income statement, the statement of owner's equity, and the balance sheet. And we're going to learn how we create those through the accounting cycle. And this is going to be fun.